So we are out here at Rafa's garage. Today, we're working on this, or I'm not working on it. Um, basically, I charge, I changed the AC lines already, so I'm gonna take it to um, my girl's best friend. She works at Subaru, so she's gonna fill up the Freon on this, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it works. So let's head out over there. She's already working, so. Yep, let's take it out. and get my friend some a drink for probably hooking me up right now is pumpkin spice and my vanilla bean with banana all right here at Subaru STI's let's go see where she's at so I fixed the leak problem for one side and now I'm leaking from another place and it looks like it's the oil pan right here. Fucking shit. It's not one thing, it's another. So there it is. Bonnie charging the AC. Hopefully one less thing that we have to worry about. No truth. AC full blast right now. We're not still not cold, but hopefully it works. So we're out here at Rafa's garage working on the Chevy truck today. Basically it's leaking and it's coming from the oil pan as I said before. Uh, that's just from coming in. I bought a new transmission kit and while we lifted it up at Bonnie's, what's it called? We also figured out that there was a support mount for the drive shaft messed up so we're gonna replace that real quick um let me see if I can show you guys so it's this one right here so this support right here is gone so it's probably why I'm getting the vibration so I'm gonna swap this out I bought one from AutoZone they had three different sizes hopefully it's the one but I'm thinking it's not I think it's gonna be a little bit bigger but I gotta take off this dry shaft out of here to get to it to replace this. So hopefully it's not a pain in the butt. Let's uncover these boxes and see what we're working with. So I paid like it was like 49 without taxes. With taxes it was like 50 something. So this is the filter for the tranny and this is the gasket so it's pretty easy a lot of 10 screws all the way around and that's about it um, hopefully that solves my issue what is this uh, no ring so yeah basically the parts that it comes instructions i don't need that so this is the center bracket for the diff um, hopefully it is the same size if not I have to go to AutoZone and return it and get the other size but this whole thing came out this whole bushing so yep let's get to work on this one it probably only has two nuts as you can see um, they're on the top weird position um, the transmission is only has a couple of bolts a couple of tins and this is the math of it so you got one two three four you get the point it should be fairly easy um, this heat shield is gonna get in the way I'm not sure if I have to remove it but first let me drain the system I don't know what size this is I'll tell you guys later as soon as I find out and I gotta clean this up real quick that way I don't get dirty same here I clean that up
you into a problem. These bolts do not want to come out. I put some EG Blaster, whatever it's called, PB Blaster. Hopefully that helps it. I'm gonna use a breaker bar instead of the impact gun. That's what I was trying to use. Oh, it's over here, but didn't work. Too many extensions, I believe. But I also found a little corporate. My brother um, swapped out this line and you see that line right there? Uh, it's hard to point right there. So that line right there, the clip wasn't all the way in. So I'm hoping that's what it was, but either way, I already bought the gasket. I'm gonna replace this and the filter while I'm already here. Um, worst case scenario where I can, then I'm just gonna slap on this one and hope for the best. If not, I have to do this all over again. Uh, and that's what I want. I'm already here, might as well try to get the job done. But we'll see. I'm putting everything back together. Uh, I didn't replace the gasket. Um, it's a pain in the butt, especially because that bolt right there is not coming loose. So hopefully it's that line that I told you guys about. Um, this one that wasn't plugged in right, or actually the top one that wasn't plugged in right. And I'm gonna give it a try. If not, I have to do this all over again and figure out how I'm gonna take that bolt off. But well, hopefully it was just that line. I'm praying it's that line. I wanna do this job again.